All right, so today we're taking a look at how to slow down an audio file. Uh, and I'll also show you how to slow down something via YouTube if you want to as well. So the benefits of slowing something down is that it helps you practice along at a speed that you can handle right now. It also allows you to hear things a little more clearly if a song is too fast or a part of a song is too fast and you're trying to pick it up by ear. Or even if you're learning it and you can't quite hear the, the phrase or the run that's in the song because it's so fast or it's faster than you're able to do, when you slow it down, it, it makes a lot more sense. So it helps you practice in many different ways. So the first thing we're, we're gonna do is take a look here at the program called Audacity. Now this is a free program, which is why I'm showing you how to use this. Although there's many programs out there that will do the same thing, but I'm gonna give you a free option. So audacityteam.org is where we're gonna go. And once you're here, you can click on download and download for other Windows, Macs, Linux, whatever operating system you have. Okay, so download that, install it. I'm not gonna walk you through that step, but once you have it installed, you're gonna open the program. And when we have the program open, uh, what you need to use is some kind of audio file, right? So you need to load an audio file into this program. So either an MP3, a WAV file, whatever kind of audio file you might have. And so either it's something that I've given you as part of a lesson or something you have at home, like an MP3 from a song. Now, if you're using something like Spotify, obviously you can't go on to Spotify and just uh, use this program with that. So I'll show you afterwards how to use YouTube uh, to slow down a recording of a song that you might not have a copy of. So in here, I'm gonna go under open, file, open. And we're gonna click onto whatever audio tracks. So you just gotta find it on your computer. I'm gonna choose this blues etude in E. All right, so here it is loaded into the software. If I press the space bar, it allows me to play it. Now what I can do is I can select all. So under the select menu, select all. Under effects, I can go to not change speed, but change tempo. And usually the stock setting is at zero. I usually go this way, so to negative, whatever you want. So in this case here, if I go to negative 20, it's about 20% less fast, or 20% slower. So click on that, press OK. And once that's in there, when I press, you hear it's much slower, right? So you can play with this, you know, adjust the settings as needed. So if you need something faster or slower, you can use this program to do that. That's like a nice free option. But if you don't want to go this route and you don't have an audio file, if you head to YouTube and you pull up whatever video it might be, so if you're learning the song or an exercise, or even a video lesson that I've given you, press play. Okay, so I'm gonna go under playback speed, so under this little wheel menu, playback speed, I can click 0.75. So this is a great way to look at it in a live video of an, a guitarist that you like, because you can see exactly what their fingers are doing. It can go even slower. All right, so I'll pause that there. So that's just a nice quick overview. I didn't want to spend too much time here. Um, didn't want you to have to spend too much time going through this. But go through this. If you have questions about it, please feel free to let me know. Ask in the comments below here, and I'll be sure to answer it for you.